Hey guys, it's me, the Big Guns, aka Stardew 700. I just wanted to go over a quick tutorial on volts on a particle accelerator and a quick way to power it. This is just a little example tube that you would use. It's not really that big. The one that you're actually supposed to use, it's under Instant Builder. It's very big. You can only get this on Creative and you need to have around five stacks of electromagnets. Now, I'm doing this with one hand, so you have to excuse me. I'm being a bit slow. Now, this thing always gets me here. Okay, so now, we're going to get our instant builder over here. I'm just going to come over here, and I'm going to find a nice place in the sky that I can place it, because you need a lot of room to make these. And when I say a lot of room, I mean a lot. So, I'm going to come over here toward our highest point, and I'm just going to stick this down right here. And we place that down, hit our little X, and just, that's our mini map. And I move back a little bit. And what is it? Lever, right? I think it's a lever. Let's see, do I have a lever? Yes, I have a lever. And then I'm going to come, and we're going to shift. I'm going to stay shift. Now we're going to hit them. Alright, here we go. Alright, what is this? Which is weird. Oh, there we go. And this is our antimatter instant builder. You don't need to make a full three level thing. You can make a really tiny thing. You need electromagnets and electro and uh, electromagnetic glass. And the recipe for electromagnets are: you need bronze. Bronze ingots are made with bronze dust. And bronze dust is made with copper and tin. Bronze. There we go. And here's our bronze dust. And wait, I want the recipe. There we go. And there's our recipe. Two copper on the end, one tin ingot in the end, and then you have to melt it. Now after we come back, we are going to have to make our wonderful beautiful uh, motors and uh, inside our motors we need to make iron ingots we need one iron ingot and four steel you make steel by making steel dust and you have the crafting, crafting recipe of steel dust you can put enriched iron inside a metallurgy confuser either that or you can possibly one second uh, steel. And then we'll go here to steel dust, and we'll hit the recipe. If there's any recipe, we're going to hit our little R on top of the recipe, just so that we can get what's inside there. And that's the recipe. You can use charcoal or coal. Any one you choose. You make steel dust, and then you have to smelt it. And after making that, you need to have at least four and you need to make this and then after doing this you need at least copper wires it could be coiled it could be insulated but it has to be insulated either way you can make copper wires with leather or wool any type of wool doesn't matter as long as you got six of it it gets six copper wires and stuff so now after we put our instant builder we're going to find our particle accelerator let just change that today noon and I'm just going to search for the brain. Brain on. And now we're just going to search for our particle accelerator, which may be not on here. Here, X. Yep, and just give a little example of how big that is, that whole little thing up there. That. Now coming over. And we're finding our particle accelerator, which I highly doubt is here. Yeah, it's it's not here. Not here. So alright, over here we're gonna come. Our particle accelerator. And a particle accelerator is somewhat simply made if you're kinda rich. You need elite circuits, which are a pain in the butt to make. You need at least six gold, but for this you need four of them. So that would take you six times four is twenty-four. 
And now you're going to need two advanced circuits, which is a lot of redstone, and basic circuits, which you're going to need redstone. And then you're going to need a lot of wires. Also, bronze and steel, you can use those too. Now, if you're doing that, you're going to need to make a motor. We already went over that. Iron, steel, wire. Then we need to make steel plates, which are used by crafting four steel ingots. Doesn't matter which one it is. Inside the little box there. Now let's get our particle accelerator. Stick it right here. And boom. Now let's get our power source. A power source could be out of anything really. It could be even heat generators, which is pretty much the cheapest and easiest solution to do. Let's switch hands for a second. Let's see. Heat generators. Alright, now we're going to need to place our lava. It's easier to just put it underneath it. Or if it's in a wall, in the wall around it. Put this in here. I mean, it's a quick little solution. It's not permanent. It's not going to give you that much power, but it should be enough to power you. And you're going to need to find lava. Pretty easy to find. I mean, you live near a cave system, abandoned mine shaft. You'll find it in there. Just look around. Doesn't have to be completed, but it needs to be at least good enough that you can make something with it. So now I'm just going to get a little electromagnetic magnetic glass. You don't have to do this. This is just for purposes for me to build here and place actually some of these blocks. So just give me a second. And now just add this. Put that there. Move over here. Okay, and now for our heat generators. Put on top on the side. Heat generators. Oh yes, and the recipe for heat generators. We need three platinum, enriched alloy. What's this again? Uh, enriched iron, enriched alloy right here. Iron and redstone. Enriched iron is just enriched alloys with iron on it. Or you can use copper dust with an ironing it, but it's cheaper. And then that's how you make an enriched alloy. And after doing so, place them all together in this pattern. So it's going to take more than one hand to do this. So I'm going to go on the other side, turn around. Mm -hmm. Stuck in lava, complain a bit. Yell at the computer. Rage that you've done it backwards, even though you've taken at least 8 minutes, 10 seconds to do this. As you can hear, wonderful family guy in the background. <laughs> 